Ink Ribbon. So you guys know probably at this point that I'm a little bit of a PlayStation fanboy. Can't help it, it's the system that kind of opened the door to gaming for me. And um, because of that, I went PS2 and GameCube, and for some reason, even though I even had a Dreamcast, I had just never got an Xbox. I never saw one in person before owning one. It just never happened for me. But for Christmas, all year I was waiting to buy this thing, and here it is, uh, the OG original Xbox. Now, if you're thinking this is just an Xbox, stay tuned. We'll, we'll get to that in a second. Um, collecting modified consoles has sort of started to become a little bit of a hobby for me, and I can't believe it, but Etsy is my go-to place. I mean, they've got... Uh, They've got, I did a video on PSP, they've also got modded Vitas, which I really want to get, even though I already have a Vita, but uh, modded Xbox, obviously uh, a ton of Game Boys. Not only is the console modified, but the actual like pieces and colors of it are, so you can customize your own like Game Boy Pocket or Game Boy Advance. Oh my God, it's gonna be a money problem in the future, but I'm taking it slow. Oh, my birthday's coming up. So like I said, this looks like an ordinary game box. <laughs> what the fuck? So like I said, this looks like an ordinary Xbox, but it's got so much packed into it. Uh, so this is a, I, th I don't know if it's soft mod or hard mod, but it's, it's really, really modified. Basically this has a crap ton of all the best Xbox games. It has every emulator you can probably think of, except Sega Saturn. Um, and within those emulators, it has almost the entire game libraries, especially for like the older systems like Super Nintendo and stuff. Now, I do have one confession for this. Um, I know I'm a Resident Evil channel, but I love Dead or Alive. And because I never had the original Xbox, I never got to play Dead or Alive 3. <laughs> or Dead or Alive Ultimate. And um, thanks to this, now I can. However, I'm gonna take this opportunity to ask for help. For some reason, uh, because the Dead or Alive games were not included, I, I custom added them. I asked the guy to put them on the console for me when I bought it, and he said, sure. But for some reason, um, I can play the games, but my saves don't work. I know it has something to do with the way that Tecmo re-signed their game. So if you're someone who knows Xbox stuff and the more technical things and you know the answer to why my saves don't work, please, please, please send me an email, send me a message, whatever. Like, I mean, really, I, I want to play... Dead or Alive Extreme 2 has a hundred and something, like, unlockable costumes, and... I can't use them because as soon as I close the console, even if I've unlocked the costumes, when I open it again, I get this screen that says, your profile is corrupted. And I'm like, no. And I've tried everything. I'm at my wit's end. But I digress. Let's go back to the content. Obviously, we have Dead or Alive games, but um, it, it's got so many Xbox games that I'm really excited for, ones that I've never got to try, including ones I didn't even know about. Like, there's this really cool one called Stubbs the Zombie. And it looks like an open world game where you play as a zombie and you like eat people's brains. And I was like, that's cool. I'm gonna have to like check that out. Maybe I'll do some sort of video. I don't know how I can, I'll figure out how to stream with this thing, but um, yeah. So with the emulation and a lot of the like ROMs and stuff, um, the first time I tried the N64 ones, they, they had a lot of problems and I was going to demonstrate that in the video and then they worked just fine. So I guess it's kind of a crapshoot. Um, it was specifically Super Smash Brothers that was really problematic. I mean, even in the footage that I captured, uh, there's a lot of artifacting going on and there was some uh, input lag, things like that. And there's sometimes horrific sound problems. So um, if you're really, really amped for the N64 stuff, just keep in mind that some of them may not work the way you want them to. Um, another cool feature is um, 
This is the controller it came with, and I did buy an extra one. Um, but uh, anytime you're in a game, if you hold the back and start button and press the right trigger, uh, that's how you like get out of the game. And when you're playing anything other than Xbox games, AKA emulated games, if you, oh God, I think if you hold the back button and the white and black button, it's a save state. And then there, there's, a, there's a system for you to do a save state and a load state, which was really cool because, you know, yeah. By the way, with the Dead or Alive thing, I even got a memory card and I actually bought the discs for the game too and they still don't work. Now with the uh, PlayStation games, they all worked just fine. It was, it was super, super fun. And uh, they did come with all the Resident Evil games, including Resident Evil Survivor. What? Yeah. <laughs> and the older systems run beautifully and it's really cool because it's been so long since I've been able to play the old consoles on the TV, like when I was a kid. So as I was going through the games list, which I mean, there are so many Super Nintendo games. Um, one thing that I really love about this thing is as you can see the menus when you scroll show you little video previews of every game. And that's really cool when you're sifting through so many games because usually when you see a title, you're just like, eh, but when you can actually see video of the game, it's like, oh, and this is for every game on this system, not just like the emulated ones. So that's a really, really cool feature that this thing has. Um, I don't know if you guys remember the, the Power Rangers game, but oh my God, as soon as I saw the little clip, I was like, I have to play this. So I was doing a little bit of beat em up action as the Yellow Ranger because the Yellow Ranger had the coolest helmet and I will fight you. And I also demonstrated a little bit of Tetris 2, which is my favorite puzzle game of all time. Nobody ever remembers it. It was amazing. Where did, I don't understand why that never became a thing, but you should try it. It's really fun and colorful and it's like 80s themed. very vaporwave on accident. And the really cool thing about this is like, let's say you, you had an Xbox, this isn't that interesting to you. There's a ton of console like bodies or shells. So like, let's say you had an Xbox, but you never had a PS2. There's the PS2 version of this where it comes with all the pre-installed games and then you can have the emulators on top. So um, this is the one that I settled on, but you can choose whichever ones you want. And the best part about this is it was surprisingly affordable. Um, as my Christmas present, it really wasn't that much. I think the, the prices go up and down. I'm not really sure why, especially because there's multiple sellers. I'm sure it's like a bidding war kind of thing, but I think I got this for $180. I thought it was gonna be a lot more. Some of them are like more special editions and they go for like up to $300 and you can get them in different colors. Like I know that the Halo edition is a lot more expensive. Um, Oh, I can try Halo now. I've never played Halo. I don't know if I'd like Halo, but we'll see. And I am also not getting paid for this. This is absolutely not sponsored. This is something like it would be a dream to be sponsored, but um, I don't make any money from this. I'm doing this purely out of nerd gaming, love, whatever. And I'm just, you know, it's kind of like show and tell. I'm like, hey guys, look what I got. If you want to buy one of these bad boys for yourself, I will put the link down in the description. And I also made a video about my modded PSP. If you're interested in that, I will also link that down in the description. This thing is awesome. I'm still playing it today. Basically, it's the PSP version of this. Oh my God, I love it so much. Oh. And I think that's all I've got for you guys. Um, I hope that this was entertaining or insightful or something. Uh, if you guys have any questions, let me know. And if any of you like know about the dead or alive stuff please 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 contact me for the love of god because i really want to unlock all those costumes because i'm a horrible nerd and i really have problems and if there's anything about this that i didn't answer you want more information you can always uh, comment down below or if you hit me up on twitter that's probably a better way to get a hold of me and there's also my ink ribbon discord so feel free to contact me in any of those ways um, thank you guys so much for watching and for all the support I'm Kai Morgan, and as always, thanks for watching Ink Ribbon. 
And a very special thank you to my bronze, silver, and gold Patreon supporters. Thanks to you, I can make videos without worrying about demonetization and grow my channel faster.